What's up? Welcome to yet another episode of My Basic Ass Life because I forgot to say it in the previous clip. And so I'm just going to put this clip before the before the other clip. <laughs> but welcome to it, y'all. Welcome to it. What's up, guys? Happy Friday. Did I just press the record button? Hold on. Yes, I did. So, what's up, guys? Happy Friday. Um, the hubs and I are going to the store. Say hey, babes. Wow. So, yeah. Um, this is basicness at its best. Y'all, there's literally nothing happening. Tonight, me and the hubs are going to a, um... What's it called? We're going to the dollhouse, baby. We yeah, are not going to the dollhouse. All day long. <laughs> anyway, we're going to uh, um, one of those car meets and stuff. So we're going to that today. And, um, so I had to go to the store for Chelsea real quick. And then I'm going to cook dinner. And then I think it starts, we're going to leave at like, what, 830? To go to because it starts at nine, but it's really big, and the thing online said go early if you want a parking spot. So that's what we gonna do. But yeah, welcome to it, guys. I'm rambling. Mama, oh, what would you think of it? We've been on this long road accumulating luggage, and as time proceeds, preoccupied with everything. I think it's about time that we sing of nothing. What's up? We've been on this long road accumulating luggage, and as time proceeds, preoccupied with everything. I think it's about time that I sing of nothing. camera is giving me problems like seriously I don't know what's going on with it I'll be take a look at it but I want to bring it to the camera shop because I'm he's, certified Nikon. you are not certified Nikon nothing anyway so last time didn't it? and yeah you fixed it now it's like going into low mode where the screen is black it's a software issue I'll get it anyway anyway so um, I was trying to give you guys a little bit of update about my mom and about what's going on in her situation. So, still can't find a hotel within 30 miles of Baton Rouge. Obviously, because thousands of people have no homes. Um, the the uh, hotels that are available, which are across the river going into West Baton Rouge, um, the, the people have made the hotel prices, like, shoot up. And I'm like okay so she can't get a hotel so she's in a in a um shelter uh so she's in a shelter uh with it's her my aunt my aunt's kids um so they're all in the same shelter um she does have everything she needs she has um uh, money for food and things like that my brother who's also um in Baton Rouge too at this time um he is staying with my uncle um, my uncle Don um, and his wife and they have a house full so basically even though she doesn't want to be my mom doesn't want to be in the shelter like literally all of my family is either their house is full and like literally there's there's no room for anybody else or um, they've lost their house also so that's our situation right now that's our situation right now um, I'm gonna be buying my bus ticket next week the problem with that is that right now even if you got to Baton Rouge you still can't get through half of the places even if I get there and take the bus there which it would be me and Chelsea taking the bus there um we wouldn't be able to get to my mom at all and even if we could get to her we would have nowhere to stay and as far as going to stay with my dad um which I would do but my dad's area got flooded really bad too even though my dad did not lose his house or anything because their house is so far up above the flood thing but the area did get damaged and you can't get to them from from baton rouge you know hopefully next week that will be not the issue but as of right now i can't get to his house so if i did go immediately there like tonight or tomorrow or something I still wouldn't have anywhere to stay so that's our dilemma right now is that if we went down there we would have nowhere to stay so yeah that's the, that's the situation right now so um, the update is there's nothing really to update um, other than it sucks um, but I am just happy that my mom and my brother's life was spared my family was spared 
they might have lost everything but that doesn't matter as long as they have their life and so when we get down there we're gonna help them clean out the house as much as we can and um because it's totally there, there's nothing salvageable the the water went all the way up to our roof of our house um so there's nothing salvageable there it's basically just to come there and take the stuff out and once we do that we're gonna get in my mom's car and we're gonna drive back to ohio um so yeah so you guys should be seeing my mom in the vlogs probably not next week um but probably the following week but I will definitely be vlogging my trip going down there. I'll be vlogging when I'm there. I will be vlogging the damage. I will be uh, vlogging the whole situation once I get there. So you guys will be able to see firsthand everything. Thank you for all the prayers and well wishes and um, people who wanted to help and offer to do a GoFundMe and all this other stuff. Like, she's fine. <laughs> my family's fine and um, thank you so much we do appreciate it and my mom appreciates it my family appreciates it so thank you guys you guys are so awesome I just I love you guys y'all are awesome <gasps> y'all have I have like hundreds of friends like through my screen here <laughs> just so funny but yeah so that's the little update I have for my family and what's going on and back to the vlog y'all Alright guys, so I don't know how good this video this is going to be because I'm in the car and it's dark and I have to turn off the light. But um, yeah, so we're on our way to the car meetup thing. So I'm probably going to be filming that on my phone, I guess, because I don't know how good my camera is going to do if I'm going to be able to see. I don't know or how lit it's going to be. I don't know. But um, yeah, so that's what I'm doing right now. This little f right here that you see, that is when I put my screen protector on the front of my phone i got a little bit of it on my camera so that's what that is i don't even know if y'all gonna be able to see this when i edit it but there's like a cloudy little thing right here but anyway so yeah that's where we're going that's what we're doing and i'm bringing you guys with me so see you when we get there so y'all we're at this car meet and the first thing you remember we went to one last week and um last week i didn't show y'all because we didn't it really wasn't anything to show it was so like low key but one thing I noticed is that like when you come to something like this here there's no music y'all it's hella silent there's no music every everybody here looks like they're under the age of 25 or like they're teenagers and got curfews and it's very and it, it, there's no melanin in y'all none it's just me and him and like one other person but I'm gonna show y'all the parking lot we're early though we got here early but um it's still filling up so I'm gonna show y'all hold on so watch out baby anyway so this is what's out here right now. Not a lot because we're early. So hopefully in the next couple of the next, the next hour maybe hopefully it'll be more more stuff to see. But um as you can hear, it's like hella silent. There's no music booming, there's no music. This is definitely not an urban establishment. Y'all black person number four. <laughs> like, so babe, what do you think about this? Like, do you think it's like a, it's definitely not urban. Yeah, it's kind of, I don't know. Y'all, it's not very urban. I feel like they're more likely to bust out the country music than some hype. <laughs> so, we'll see, I'll let y'all know. So babe, what do you think so far? Y'all, it's actually hot though. It's like humid. It's not hot, it's like humid, wet heat right now. It's very Louisiana-esque right now. So, um, yeah, I'll show y'all in a few more minutes. If something else happens, I will show you. Y'all, my husband likes to walk up to people just to walk up to them like he knows them. And he's like, come on. He's like, come on, come on, come on, my ass. I don't these people. No. He likes to walk up to people and just be like talking to them. I'm like, I'm not doing that. Y'all, they don't. Where I'm from, that's not safe to do. But um, this is probably like the least, the least hyped up um, thing I've ever seen with this many yeah, people. What, what Let me show y'all the amount of people. Like earlier I showed y'all and it was like kind of empty. But this time it's like, it's a good amount of people out here. And there's like cars. Let me show y'all. Got lower Huh? And that's the, that is a line of cars coming in y'all into this parking lot. So it's like filling up, but it's still not crunk. So this is what it looks like now, y'all. What? That was weird. 
What was weird? What was weird? He just gave me that, hugged me, and said, I'll be there with her. I guess. He's like, what's that? I was like, I am home. And he was like, I'll be there, man. You know what? Yeah, look at this line of cars. <laughs> so, that's the line of cars. Huh? What, babe? Watch me do my shit. Do what? Why are you handing that out anyway? Don't make it even yours. They get like free labor off of you. Yeah, so Lee Royal picked up these um pamphlets. He picked up these pamphlets from somebody and um uh, like some pamphlets for import import face off. And he's like handing them out like this is his job. Like, sir, can you stop? The Royal is rocking hard up handing out pamphlets. My husband is weird. reality today okay but um thanks for watching thanks for tuning in give this video a thumbs up subscribe to my channel if you haven't already and i will see you guys in the next one bye